Uh, my name is Jeff Baer. I'm with Broadcom Corporation. I am the Director of Marketing for our IoT, Internet of Things and Wearables connectivity business. And for Broadcom, this is one of the fastest growing and most innovative parts of our business. Um, we're focused really in two areas. Uh, the first is the Internet of Things, which is primarily driven by Wi-Fi, and we have an architecture yeah, called Wicked, wireless internet connectivity for embedded devices, uh, using our Wi-Fi technology to go into any electronic gear, so any class of device that's electronic. So a great example of a commercial product today that's using Wicked Wi-Fi is this device, which is the Nest Protect. This is a residential smoke and carbon monoxide monitor. And to me, this is really the best example of a use of the Internet of Things. This is something a traditional smoke detector, when it measures smoke, it goes off. It makes a loud noise. But if you're not home, then it makes a loud noise and your house burns down. With connectivity, if your smoke detector goes off, then it's able to send you a text, and the text says your house is on fire. And so this is a very simple, intuitive use of connectivity to add real value that people understand. Um, this is a company that's just been bought by Google, so I think Google sees the, the value in this technology, and it's one of uh, a number of products. This uses our, our wicked Wi-Fi. Um, lighting is an area of different kinds of connectivity. This is a, a, a Bluetooth light bulb. And the usage there is you're sitting on your sofa and you're, you're too lazy to get up and turn off the light. So you use your smartphone to turn off your light bulb. Um, the other approach is actually through Wi-Fi and more sort of large scale installations are using Wi-Fi so that you can monitor and control and turn off a great number of lights at one time, for example. Um, so it's not clear if Wi-Fi or, or Bluetooth would be the technology there. Um, the other area of focus besides Wicked Wi-Fi is what we call Wicked Smart, which uses a technology called Bluetooth Smart or BLE. This is a simple low energy version of Bluetooth that's actually supported natively both in Android and in iOS and Apple devices. And this opens up a large body of applications for wearable devices. So most of the wearable devices today use BLE, things like pulse monitors, so fitness detectors, something that you can detect for medical and fitness tracking. Um, fitness bands also use BLE. Um, but there are other classes of devices, for example, this is a device called the iGrill. And the iGrill, this is a perfect American device because what you do is on your barbecue, you plug this into your meat and it measures it. And when your meat has been cooked, then it sends you a text that says your meat is done. So it combines sitting on your sofa and barbecue, which are two things that Americans love to do. So um, this is a very successful device. It's a retail product that they've sold uh, quite many of, and that's also based on, on Bluetooth Low Energy. Um, the latest area of focus for us is actually in Wi-Fi audio. And we have a version of our Wicked. This is our Wicked kit. And we have a slightly enhanced version called Wicked Audio Edition. And this is being put into Wi-Fi speakers. So today, there are wireless speakers on the shelves, but they're primarily Bluetooth. And people are excited about that because you no longer have to dock your music player into your speaker. So you can sit on your, your sofa and change your music and connect wirelessly. But Bluetooth has limitations in range and in audio fidelity. So now that people understand the value of Wi-Fi, of wireless audio, they want to move to Wi-Fi audio, where you can get better range, higher fidelity, 5.1 or 7.1 speaker placement, multi-room, multi-zone. So 
this is a product that can go into a speaker, it can go into an audio video receiver, so uh, audio equipment, and it's really driving the next phase of wireless audio. So there are a wide range of products that are going to appear over the next year that implement audio over Wi-Fi. And we're, we're really out in front of it. We have partners with uh, companies that have the audio standards for uh, Android as well as we're working closely with Apple for iOS devices. Can you also give some details about uh, the Wicked SDK? Sure. So, Wicked hardware is based on you know a microcontroller, 32-bit microcontroller, and our standard Wi-Fi, so our 802.11n Wi-Fi. But the real value of the Wicked architecture is in what we call the Wicked SDK. So the Wicked SDK can be freely downloaded from www.broadcom.com/wicked. W-I-C-E-D. Um, you can register online, get access to the SDK, and it has everything in the Wicked architecture, a full suite of development tools, a stack including a commercial real-time operating system, full uh, deployment level security, um, debuggers, everything that you need to develop IoT connectivity applications. And this is something, it's available uh, free of charge for download from, from this web portal. And the, the, the real key of the Wicked architecture is really around this, this software architecture, um, more so than the hardware event.